Howdy friends, Steve DePoe here with the Rose Realty Team with this week's Real Estate Vlog for North Texas. Before we get started, we ask you to go to YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Let's Do Real Estate Texas. There's no charge, but you will be alerted to updates and changes to our series Spotlight on Community, Focus on Small Business, and of course, our weekly real estate updates on North Texas. Thank you. Let's get started. This week's topic, 3.5 do-it-yourself hacks. I always like that term, hacks. Anyway, uh, number one, transform a, transform a spare room into usable space. Well, so, so if you have, um, if you have a, um, um, an extra bedroom or you have a, um, if you have a um, um, office that you're not utilizing, or you have you know, something along those lines, convert it into usable space. Even if you have a family room that the family uses and enjoys and, and congregates there, you know, make it better, you know, update it, make it, make it better. Um, uh, convert it into a, convert a dreary unfinished room or space you know, into something more cheerful and kind of a more, a more, more friendly, open uh, family room. Now this again, was one of those kind of items that kind of came out of, um, of COVID. I'm sorry to say we're not out of COVID um, just, just yet, um, but one of those things where people you know, were working at home, um, were working remotely, and you know, they want to leave their office and go into, a, and go into an environment where they're, where they're relaxed and they can be with family and friends and those kinds of things there, okay? So take your family room and update it, make, make it more friendly. Or if you have some kind of room that's, um, that's a, a, a spare room or a spare office or something like that, that's not quite, you know, maybe it's just kind of like use it for storage, okay? Get that stuff out of there, put it in the attic, put it, you know, rent a storage bin or something, rent a storage facility or something like that and convert that room into, into something more friendly where, where people can, can come and, you know, uh, you know, hang out I and mean, to turn it into a, to a study where you can, where you can read or, you know, or whatever, something that's more relaxing, more, you know, more meditation friendly, you may want to call it. Um, never thought I'd use those words. Anyway, more, more, more friendly, where, the, where, you, where you can, um, where you can unwind and, you know, um, um, you know, share with, share with your family and those kinds of things. Um, update landscape lighting. You know, to, to me, there's just nothing cooler um, then updating, then, then installing landscape lightings, like either by bushes or shrubs or under them or that kind of thing, highlighting the walkway, highlighting the driveway, highlighting with uh, some um, um, up lights, either trees or the, the, front of, the front of your house. This gives you such a, this gives, this gives you a, a very, um, a, a very uh, cool upgrade to your house and makes your house look classier, okay? It also makes it safer. Okay, so 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 evil doors, um, or burglars or whatnot, are less likely to come to come into um, or want to break into a well lit house, you know, than one that is uh, than than what is than, than one that is you know dreary and and, and unlit. Um, you can also get you know so when you think about it, whether you're talking about smart homes or wi and Wi Fi or or just um, or just timers, you can get timers that turn your your lights on. Uh, are off at kind of different times, you know, and they, they, the time can vary. Um, I have one timer that varies by, you know, a couple of minutes each day, you know, so it's not, oh, it's like, like remember Home Alone? Oh, it's six o'clock, this light's coming on now. No, what, it's not like that. It's, it's you know, it, 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 6.02, um, um, 5, uh, 5.45, you know, whatever, you know, and um, it, it does it at various times. And that also, again, makes your house uh, safer. safer. Update the entryway. Okay, yeah, you know, so this go, this goes down to um, this goes down to kind of curb appeal as, as well as just updating your house. Uh, you improve the you improve the entryway. You know, the door, the archway, a hanging light, those kinds of things. A, a pendant light um, out front. Um, uh, you can also do full a full a full walkway if you want um, instead of just you know cement. Uh, this updates the look, the appeal. Um, of the entryway. So when people are walking up to your house, whether their their neighbors or friends or family coming over, um, you know, for dinner, um, the insurance guy coming over to sell you insurance, you know, or um, you put you decide to list your house and they're walking up to the house for, for the showing, 
you know, that entryway is one of the first things that the eyes are going to focus on. Uh, and you want that to be, you want that to be outstanding. So if you update the entryway, you know, potentially with a, a new door, and like I said, lighting and, 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 and um, uh, full, full stone walkway, that type of thing, uh, it can really, it can really add value and appeal um, to, to your house. Um, pavers in the backyard um, is, is really an interesting concept for a number of reasons. So if you put uh, pavers or some kind of um, even a faux, faux finish in the back on, you know, uh, on a sort of like a, a patio type of thing, it does two things. It kind of adds, a bit, adds, um, adds call it um, entertaining a recreation space in the back of your house instead of just having dirt or lawn or that kind of thing. Um, and so it adds, adds additional value to the, you know, to, to, to the outside of your house. It also is a place where you can go and unwind, okay? Uh, living here in North Texas, if your, your backyard, let's say, faces any place but west, you know, north, south, or east, north, south, or east, you can go back there, enjoy, a, you know, enjoy um, a cup of coffee in the morning or, you know, a soda um, or an adult beverage at night. Um, it's also a good, great place to, um, to meet with the family, you know, after, um, after work or after, you know, after dinner to kind of sit there and just unwind. And also, you know, let's, let's face it, if you're working from home and you have Wi-Fi on the inside, um, it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's a great place to have a, um, it's, it's a great place to kind of sit and, uh, and unwind and, um, you know, and, and do some of your work. I used to belong to a networking group and one of the guys was always outside. And you could tell because there was a little bit of breeze in his microphone, you know. So uh, adding, pay, adding, adding uh, pavers um, or some kind of, uh, let's, let's call it formal finished um, flooring, uh, you know, on the ground where you can put a picnic table or a couple of chairs or that kind of thing is, um, you know, adds, again, adds value to your house. Um, next week, um, small home tasks that, uh, that you can do on your own doesn't take you a lot of time. You could probably do like, I think I've got like four or five of them. You could probably do all four or five in one day, one weekend um, that will number one, uh, add comfort uh, to your house, um, add a little bit of value. And um, it, it's also a maintenance thing that you, as we go into the spring, um, will, um, will enhance, your, will enhance your, your home, your value and your enjoyment of your home. This is Steve DePoe with the Rose Realty Team. I'm gonna bounce.